So imagine this, um, you tell the car, I want to go to my job. The car is going to do all this by itself. It's going to make right turns. You don't have to put on the blinker or put on the blinker like it does on the highways. It'll make the right turn. It'll make sure to look both ways, of course. All right. Hey, YouTube. Uh, so here you can see a quick, a quick clip. This is from uh, Twitter user Brandon EE991, I believe. Um, I'll, I'll link him in the bio in the description of this video. But he's been posting a lot of videos because he is one of the early access program members and he had access to the full self-driving beta that's open to a limited few. It actually started rolling out Tuesday night. Um, everybody's been anticipating this and nobody knew what to expect. Well, just from this one image alone, left turns, car stopping at, at an intersection, deciding when to start going again, make that left turn, that is a huge breakthrough in what Tesla has offered so far. I'm sure they worked really hard, uh, all of the engineering, all of the employees at Tesla to get this get this out. I know Elon's been talking about a, a rewrite that's gonna make full self-driving um, go from a, a 2D, 2.5D to 4D um, kind of display so that the car is more aware of everything around it instead of it constantly being in the state of waking up and checking its surroundings every few seconds, every millisecond. Um, so this is huge from an engineering standpoint. If they actually are able to pull this off, this can mean uh, a huge momentum shift for Tesla itself when they say that they have cars that are full self-driving. If you don't have a Tesla, if you aren't familiar with Tesla, you, would know, you wouldn't know that full self-driving doesn't mean you can jump in the car and do everything. They are getting there, they're working there, but basically when people buy full self-driving packages, they are buying into a promise, a promise that Elon and his company will deliver a full self-driving feature eventually. And as they start improving and start uh, releasing more features on this full self-driving, the price of that package will increase. So that's what really encourages people to buy up front. Um, me being one of them, the full self-driving experience itself uh, is limited to really highways. Um, it will drive on city streets, but it won't it won't do turns for you and won't be able to get you from point A to point B fully. So you can turn off full self-driving on the highway. Uh, it will change lanes, uh, try to get in front of slower cars. It will get on the off-ramp to go onto city streets. But once you're on off-ramp, it starts counting down. It lets you know that you need to take over. So what does this mean for Tesla as a company, for Tesla owners, and for the future of autonomous cars? Once you love to just jump in your car in the back seat and it drives for you. Well, that's what this can mean. This full self-driving beta, beta, beta. I thought that we were already in beta. I think this is a beta for the future of full self-driving where it will take you from point A to point B autonomously. So I know Elon's been driving his car with, with the Alpha. He said it takes him from his house to the office with no problem. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, this, this new beta basically will mean that you can drive or the car will drive you on city streets. It'll pull you out of your garage. It'll take the left, right turns that it needs to on any streets. It already stops at green lights or traffic lights and stop signs, but basically it, it relies on your confirmation to go forward. But now the full self-driving beta is showing that it will actually make the decision to stop, wait for pedestrians, wait for cars that are turning before it makes a left or right turn. It will do that all by itself. What does this mean for people who own a Tesla uh, and have full self-driving. Well, that means you should probably get excited. I know this beta just came out. There's definitely going to be some testing with all of the the smaller group, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of articles out there that are saying that we'll probably get it by the end of the year. If you have a Tesla, but you don't have full self-driving, you don't have that package, uh, you didn't pay for it up front. Well, I if I were you, I would consider buying it because uh, Elon actually tweeted out yesterday after all of the all the other tweets from users that are, are showing off this new full self-driving beta, he actually tweeted yesterday that the, the price of full self-driving is gonna go up 2,000 on Monday. So it's already at 8,000, it's been going up over the past couple of years as they've added new features like Smart Summon and all of this, but they it feels like they have a more complete package. Um, so if you wanna get in, now's the time to get in. It's, it's very unique because for people who have actually purchased full self-driving years ago or even just this past year, and the, the price of the software is increasing, that also means that the price of your car is increasing. So that's definitely unheard of. You're, you have an appreciating asset that is usually, for every other car, is depreciating because cars don't get updates like Teslas do. And if you don't have a Tesla, don't worry because this is really paving the way for 
autonomy, autonomous cars. Um, it's just something to be very excited for. I know people are scared of cars driving themselves, and like for the time being, that's not going to be the case uh, because it's still going to be in beta mode when it's released to the rest of the Tesla owners and people who have full self-driving, but it's really paving the way and creating the large amounts of data that we need to actually get full self-driving into all cars so that we can have safer roads, um, safer drivers, and we can just sit back and relax and do things while the car drives for us. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, definitely I want to hear what everybody thinks about the price increase. Uh, do we think that the features that we're seeing everywhere is worth the $2,000 increase? Um, does this mean that Tesla stock is going to go up? I'm just speculating. I'm not giving any financial advice. But this definitely seems like another, like t Tesla's always been considered a tech company on top of being a car company. So this tech is advancing at a higher rate than we expected. I'll link the Twitter user that I mentioned earlier in the description, as well as a Reddit thread that has a link of a bunch of different videos from people who have experience with this new full self-driving beta and a part of the, the beta program. Until then, see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of this content.